second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California. We've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the L.A. Chargers. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Herbert on the first play wants to pass it. And there's Williams. What a catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A very solid gain of 27. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. Now the seven-year veteran, Austin Eckler. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Throw left side, take it in by McKinney. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. A gain there of 21 yards. Love the play call that time, love the design. You put three tight ends on the field, that screams jumbo set, running formation to a defense, right? No, they go play action and defense gets confused for just a split second. And next thing you know, completion for good yardage. He finds some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Second down and eight. It's Eckler again. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. So that run play nullified by the holding call on the tight end. Yeah, I just think he needs to get off the ball a lot quicker and get into the block a little bit more effectively. Then he doesn't have to reach and grab and try and hold on. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Throw left side is hauled in by Palmer. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Third down. To the goal line, but incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. From the left hash, just a 32-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off.
And able to get this out to the 25. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 23 yards on the play. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. First carry now for Alexander Madison. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. Here's Madison getting it again on second. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Here comes third down at seven. From the gun, here's Cousins. He'll get this underneath to Madison. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Now it's Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Again, Herbert, open man, it's Palmer. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They picked up five yards last time, now they double it and get 10 here. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw, maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. On first down, it's Herbert. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. 
That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Here's Herbert. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you gotta worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and 10. Herbert back to the air. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 22 yard line. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. That's a big gainer on that play. And from experience, I can tell you, that's where defensive backs will come into the huddle and say, guys, how about some pass rush? But you're going to say it nicely because those big guys up front, they don't like being criticized very much. Quarterbacks in this league, you know they'll pick you apart if you give them time like that to find receivers downfield. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. To the air again, Herbert. This is caught. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep first and goal. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Herbert now. That one thrown away from the pocket. And the officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. Here's Herbert now on second down. He finds his receiver, Williams, for a Charger touchdown. A three-yard touchdown pass, and the Chargers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half, and that'll give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Vikings going to take over now late in this first half. They're certainly in need of some kind of points here before the end of the half. A field goal or something being shut out right now. They can really use some momentum before they head into halftime. Here 
Cousins now to throw on first down. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. The former number three pick, Joey Bosa, bringing the lumber that time. Well, that's an excellent way to get the pass rush activated. The first sack of the game for them comes on the first play of the drive, and it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up a first down now, playing behind the sticks. Final play of the half, Cousins. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we send you cross-country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. 10-0 is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Now come the Vikings. They'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Partner, that's excellent timing right there, breaking off the route and being able to hit it right when he stops. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Here's Madison running left, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 20-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Over the middle and complete to Addison. And the Vikings are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Cousins now. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football and picked up by the Chargers. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And their defense just helped him out by getting the football back on the opening drive here of the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. Shotgun snap for Herbert. And that's into the hands of Eckler. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one good for 13 and a charger first. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. Running on first down, Eckler. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. From the 44-yard line, here's a second and eight. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Eckler are going to get it again on second down. 
It'll be a gain of five on the play, and it'll also be the final play of this third quarter. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Here is third down and four. Justin Herbert looking to pass. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Eckler going to get it again on second down. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Once more, here's Eckler. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's third and seven. Herbert. Just keeping the play alive. That is caught. The Vikings going to use their third and final Let's timeout. Go, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. See if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. They'll try the right side with Eckler. And he stopped immediately there. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let them know right away I'm throwing it, but I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity. If it breaks down, he can take off and run for it. Brandon, I can just tell you from experience, there's nothing like pitching a shutout on defense, but even more so when it's a tight game. 
I mean, when every defensive play is crucial and you don't give up any points, boy, they're going to feel awfully good about themselves after this one. Yeah, exactly. The offense wasn't humming, but hey, all they needed was... Well, you can't score one point. All they needed was two points. Well, you can't score two points on offense. All they needed was at least three, and they got what they needed. They got what they needed. Exactly right. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And not all W's are created equal, C.D., and this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense, obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. Well, you know what they say, it's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Southern California.